Hello everyone! So today I'm going to be giving you guys a room tour today. I have to go to work here in a little bit so I might be talking kind of quickly in this video. And before we get started though, there are a couple things that I want to talk about. So if you guys were following me when back when I lived in Kansas, you know that I used to live in a 3,000 square foot house. I definitely don't live in that anymore because now I live on the Upper East Side of New York City. So I don't need any of y'all giving me a hard time in the comment section saying how small my apartment is because your girl works hard for this rent. Second is I didn't want to make this video for a long time because I really wanted this apartment to be exactly the way that I wanted it when I made a room tour but I just really don't think I'm going to have my apartment exactly the way I want it for a long time and so I wanted to go ahead and make this video and get it up because the last video you guys saw it was unfurnished and now it's furnished and it's come a long way and so I wanted to share that with you guys um, and then maybe I'll make another video when I have everything exactly the way I want it. So this is the front door. When you go inside the first thing you're really going to probably see is this little entranceway right here. Um, if you guys watched my house tour in Kansas, you guys saw this piece. It's one of my favorites and I definitely wanted to incorporate it here. Um, and so I hired someone to hang this mirror. Um, so it's kind of nice because I can just kind of like look at myself before I'm leaving. Um, and then I kept a lot of the same decorations. Um, I added a fruit bowl here, which doesn't really look like good fruit anymore. Um, I keep some vitamins here, some hand sanitizer, sunglasses, probiotics, um, and obviously some candles, things like that. Down here isn't organized really well, and I want to get it better. Pretty much, this is my laundry basket, and it hasn't really found a good home yet. There's my drone, um, some puppy pads for the dog when I was trying to teach her. She didn't like those. Long story. And then just some shoes. So I do want to clean up this area a little bit, but for right now, that's what we have. Um, I do have another mirror here in the kitchen. I love this mirror. I didn't want to get rid of it, but it is really big. And so I have it here in the kitchen for now, just kind of right beside the door. Before I leave, I can look at my outfit. Um, okay, so this is the kitchen. And it was really important to me when I was... Hey, Sager. Um, it was really important to me when I was uh, living in New York to have a kitchen because I love to cook. Um, so first, I do have a fridge here that's just full of stuff and things the the um, apartment did not come with a microwave so I had to find and measure a microwave that would fit in this little area um, another thing that I just really want to fix is this area up here so it is great for storage but it looks really just junky and bulky and so what I want to do is get more of those kind of wicker baskets probably something a little bit bigger and just like put all the stuff in them and line it across so that it just looks really organized um, but for right now, that's like kind of like my extra storage area. Inside here, I just have like all of my um, all my like plates and stuff. And here is more like a pantry. There isn't a ton of pantry space in this apartment, um, so yeah. And then over here, this is where I cook. I use the stove. I use the oven. I use it all. I have um, this. Is, I just I literally utilize every single space that I can in this apartment. You guys, it's like crazy. Um, so yeah, I keep the dog food down here. Nothing super crazy. Now, the one thing that I absolutely hate about this apartment is this floor. This floor is so horrible. It is so ugly. Um, and there's like some cracks in it. And um, yeah, so I, I got this rug as an attempt to kind of cover that, but it wasn't really big enough. And now that I look at it, I really think I should have gotten something a little bit more plain that didn't have a design on it, but it is what it is. I spend a lot of time in this kitchen though, and then for an overview, that's kind of what it looks like. Okay, so this is a pan of the living room, and I do live in a one bedroom apartment, in case I didn't mention that earlier. So starting over here, I mean, you guys, if you saw my first apartment in Kansas, same couch. Um, I usually have the pillows decorated a little bit differently. I don't know why I put them like that. Anyway, so the coffee table is the same. I want to get rid of the coffee table. It is clearly too big. It was too big for our house in Kansas. It's too big for this apartment. I want to get something that's like half of this size um, and that can go like diagonally like this way. Um, but I just haven't made the effort to get rid of it yet. This is a shelf that I want to put above here. Um, and I want to put like a, like a uh, eucalyptus um, wreath and like books up there because it's just like clearly so plain so that's what this is um, and I just need to hire someone to do it and then I have my podcasting mic in the back which that's not a good place for it but that's where it lives right now 
So over here we have my desk area. You guys know how important it is for me to always have like a working area. So I just have some shelves. They aren't decorated that great, but they do for now. Um, and yeah, that's my desk, my Mac. I have a running calendar right there. It's nothing super crazy. Definitely more cramped than it used to be. My dog's home is so large and I don't really know where else to put it. And so this is kind of where it's ended up. I really was hoping it would fit under the desk, but it doesn't, it's too big. So it kind of hangs out in the middle. Um, I have this little like console area. It's nice. I have like a lot of things stuffed into the corners. Um, I have my record player, some photos, a um, essential oils diffuser, and then I had someone to hang up my TV. I'm watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Trash, I know, but it's so good. So yeah, that's kind of it. And there's my window with the air conditioner unit. And so yeah, this kind of like makes up the living room. I like it, I really do. I love having the exposed brick, but I definitely need to figure out something with a coffee table and get that shelf up. Moving on into the bathroom. This is probably one of my favorite places, which is kind of weird to say. The only thing I hate about the bathroom is that fan that you can hear when you turn on the light. That's really annoying. But other than that, I really love my bathroom. So we come over here. I have like a medicine cabinet right here. Um, sink, storage area. There isn't a lot of storage in this bathroom, which kind of sucks. This is one of those like weird L-shaped showers. Um, the shower is definitely like super, super old school, but that's okay. And we come in here and this is kind of what it looks like. I just had someone put in the shelves for me. And yeah, and then there's like this little alcove over here. I feel like this is probably where the towels were supposed to go, but I just put my perfume back there. Um, so small, clean, but it is like a really old styled apartment. Um, but I don't know, I really like the bathroom because I feel like this is definitely my style where like the white with the plants and stuff, like it makes me super happy. And then last but certainly not least, hey puppy, oh, this is also where I keep her food. Um, is the bedroom. Um, this is kind of what it looks like. So I have my suitcase just right here because I am going to go see Will this weekend. Um, okay, first things first, I do love my bedroom. It is like my little, my little comfort zone. I do have a mirror just hanging on top. I have a lot of mirrors in this apartment, I'm starting to realize. Um, so <laughs> these are the pure one nightstands, but the bedroom isn't big enough for them to be the other way. So I had to invert them so you can't actually use the drawers which is kind of annoying, but I really like my nightstands, so I kept them. Um, here's the bed, hey bug. Um, yeah, so I like this apartment because there is so much natural lighting. I have my fire escape out there, some of my accessories, and then over in this other window is a just the air conditioner, and I don't have like a crazy view or anything like that. Um, back this way is where I keep my clothes and then over here is where I keep my hanging clothes um, Shoes are down there And then what's kind of nice is that I have additional storage up there So I have all my fall and like winter clothes and de like um, accessories and decorations and stuff back there um, So yeah, that's kind of what this looks like. So this is the bedroom Okay guys, so that kind of wraps up my apartment tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, real estate is so expensive in New York, so I do pay a lot of money for this apartment, even though it's really small. And like I said, it's not decorated quite the way that I want it to be yet, but we're getting there. Um, I will give you guys another video once we get to that point, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video for now. Please let me know in the comments below that you liked this video and then what other kind of videos that you're excited to see while I'm in New York. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Don't forget to check out my social media and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.